What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. We back with another travel guide. Hey, we back in the Netherlands. We got and I'm probably gonna say this wrong until I hear Maastricht. Maastricht, I believe. If I'm saying that right, I'm probably not. But we checking this out. Shout out to my guy Peter for sending this out. Hey, I, I checked out a video from this channel before. I believe I just can't remember what video it was because the guy looked familiar, but Hey, he gives some good information. I like the fact that he's actually like walking around and showing us different pla uh, places and stuff within the cities. So we're going to check this out. Y'all hit that subscribe button, send out more recommendations, and let's get into it. Hi, I'm Martijn, and welcome to the southest Martijn. part of the Netherlands. This is Maastricht. Maastricht. A great city to visit for a few days, maybe in combination with Amsterdam or Rotterdam. In this video you get the best travel tips for Maastricht to get the most out of your visit. And don't forget to like or subscribe. Maastricht has a long history. It started as a Roman settlement. You feel that history when you walk through the city. In 1992 Maastricht became well known as the birthplace of the euro currency. To travel to the city, you can take a train from Amsterdam or Rotterdam. A journey from Amsterdam will take two and a half hours, and you arrive here in the city center of Maastricht. Maastricht is located on both sides of the Maas River. To travel between both parts, you can cross the Sint-Servaas Bridge, a beautiful 13th century stone bridge, and one of the most characteristic structures in the city. And this well may be the oldest bridge in the Netherlands. Hey, this is the first bridge I ever seen that you could like walk like what I'm used to. We have to drive over bridges and stuff, but that that's cool. This bridge in the Netherlands. When I visit Maastricht, this is my second home, het Kruisheer Hotel. It's on a central location and also a beautiful building. The hotel is in a 15th century monastery. The experience starts when you enter the hotel through the gates. The outside wow. is still the same, but inside it's the place where art, design, and comfort come together. It's a truly unique experience. In a moment, I will show you a place where three countries come together. Nice. This is not Cartier Latin in Paris, this is still Maastricht, a unique part of the old city called Jägerskwartier. Walking through this area is an absolute must when you visit Maastricht. You have a lot of historic wow. monuments, for example the city wall. You can climb the wall that protected Maastricht centuries ago. Man, that's a lot of history here and stuff. Man, I love, man, that hotel, or like the art and stuff, that is Protected history. Maastricht centuries ago. Or enter the city through the old city gates, the Hellport. With such a long history, it isn't strange that the city has two famous basilicas. The first one is Onze Lieve Vrouwen, dedicated to Our Lady. Wow. The church dates back to the 11th century. But nowadays it's a modern city church. Dang. And the second one is the Sint Servaas. The Basilica of St. Servatius is an historical church dedicated to St. Servatius, an Armenian missionary who died and was burnt in Maastricht in 384. His grave, as well as the many relics in the church treasury, made the Basilica a popular pilgrimage site. The city is full of beautiful structures and squares, and a place in particular you cannot miss is Het Vrijthof. Well known for the bars and cafes. But as you can see, not that crowded at the moment, and that's because of COVID. Oh, yeah. 
I'm sure it'd be a lot of people out That's there. because of COVID. A district with his own character is De Dijk. With the contemporary and exclusive shops. And restaurants. And authentic specialty shops who have been here for years. And don't forget this monument, Het Waterpoortje. The Markt is a big square with many restaurants. The name originated because markets took place on this square for centuries. Nowadays there is a market on Wednesday and Friday. And on this square is also the City Hall of Maastricht. When you visit a city, it's always nice to have a place to chill. Maastricht has a large park called Frontenpark. It's not a neatly laid out and maintained park, but a rocked piece of nature in the city. Near Maastricht, you have a great opportunity to visit three countries on one place. Het drie landenpunt in Faals. The borders of Germany, Belgium and the Netherlands come together on this point. Wow. At a height of 323 meters, this is also the highest point in the Netherlands. Man, that is incredible how the borders, they be so, that is crazy because we have two, there's like two towns or two cities that's nearby where I live and it's like before you get to the school, it's a part of this county. Then after you pass the school, it's a part of another county. So I definitely understand that's and that's just with the county. This is like whole other countries type. That is three meters. Cool. This is also the highest point in the Netherlands. The 33 meters high Wilhelmina Toren on the Dutch side wow. has an impressive skywalk, a viewing platform with a glass floor, which provides a spectacular panoramic view. Wow. The admission is 3 euros. A journey by car from Maastricht takes 40 minutes. And don't forget, this is a real tourist attraction with a lot of kids. <laughs> That's cool. When you like this video, just give a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you don't want to miss new episodes. It's totally free and it enriches your view on the whole world. Tot ziens. Ciao. Hasta luego. Nice, nice. Yeah, let me go ahead and subscribe. Yeah, that's it. That's always interesting to me. I like that. I like that a lot. But yeah, I think I got that name right a little, a little better than <laughs> than I thought. But I definitely gonna have to check this guy channel out a little bit more and see a lot about the Netherlands and different places. Look like you got Spain there. I haven't did anything about Belgium yet. I don't think. So definitely going to have to check out Belgium one day. But guys, that's all I have for this video. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Send out more recommendations. Hey, y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.